This is the reaction tube. The coil is connected to each end of the tube and generates a high voltage and that ionizes the gas and the coil compresses it. I call it a iron compressor. I call it a coiled iron compressor. This is the second stage where the, the this is the uh, winding, the green is the winding, and the red is the plasma, and the coil is oscillating at uh, 10 kilohertz, and that induces a current in the plasma in the opposite sense, and therefore repels it and makes it smaller. And as it gets so, it gets smaller and smaller and the pressure goes up because the force is the same in the area is smaller and uh, it carries on getting smaller and uh, the winding current sheet is 7000 amps at 10 kilohertz. The capacitance of the coil is the tuning capacitance so there's no need to a separate capacitor. It's got even smaller, the pressure is higher. Eventually, the pressure gets so high that a fusion reaction occurs, the pressure being 10 to the 10th pascals or 10 to the 20 pascals, and that uh, initiates a fusion reaction which makes it hot, fuse, 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 and explodes and goes against the current in the winding, the screen winding and therefore induces a current in it caused by the static edge principle the process of change and slowly starts expanding again and that's against the coil and therefore produces electricity this can then be tapped off in a separate source and used to power other equipment the regulator is a simple gas discharge tube set at 6,000 volts and that just limits the voltage to 6,000 volts. I have to put a fuse in it too because the current is too high. Uh, this repeats, repeats until it uh, stops, runs out of fuel. That's all. And that's my mission. That's a, it's a picture, a picture way of doing it, which shows the mechanism. And every time the voltage rises, it strikes an arc through the car, through the gas, and therefore ionised. So it stays ionised, and it probably is it glows as it is ionised. And uh, uh, but the actual thread of Reactive gases, very, very small in the middle, and just comes and goes as the coil oscillates. The current goes up and down, uh, makes a sinusoidal oscillation driven by deuterium fusion, producing helium. The helium is tapped off and the deuterium recycled. We have a way of doing that with diffusion chamber because helium diffuses very quickly and so it can be trapped and that is a byproduct product which is very good if you can use it you can sell it I think it, it's not helium 3 because the more neutrons are produced make it helium 4 reaction is uh, deuterium plus deuterium iron goes to uh, uh, HE3 plus one neutral I think it is and uh, that goes on to produce helium four. Very few neutrons escape, they're all absorbed by the gas. So it's a very safe system. I, when we built this at the Rutherford Lab some years ago, 1969, I don't think they understood it and I didn't understand how it worked. 
but it did work and um, we powered a good horsepower electric motor from it. It ran it at 120 hertz, I think it was, and it was a much bigger car and had a tiny capacitor on it which didn't do anything, but it helped. I remember I was quite young and uh, just played with it, and I didn't understand it. It started with a valve, a big, big three, three kilowatt valve, but uh, now I know it's here it starts off by itself. But it is, but it has to be specially adjusted to do that, if it does. And with air it does, because the air forms carbon uh, nitric oxide, nitrous oxide. And that's laughing gas, both are toxic, keep you high. It actually generates electricity in the process. But it starts from a tiny tree, I think, therefore it will with deuterium. I haven't tried it with deuterium, but that's the idea. It carries on until the deuterium runs out and it's left with helium. Might go a bit further. And if you up the chain. Pressure's very high. Thank you. That's all folks. I was inspired to build this device because of global warming. But when I did it in 1969 there was no global warming. But we predicted there would be one and we did do it in case. But they never used it because Petrol was used universally in the basis of the economy.